the talk of everything. Before the week or maybe two going into this battle, the talk was what happened with Miss Miami and Bonnie Godava. So we're gonna get into Bonnie Godava later. Let's set the record straight with Miss Miami versus Chirac. Shout outs to Chirac. And you can just look at this picture right here on the thumbnail. She got that shy demeanor, calm, just thinking, not letting anything happen, not talking through any round. Miss Miami, I'm gonna say. I know Debo said they probably cut your mic off, whatever, throughout the rounds, but it was good to not hear you talking through the rounds. So that's definitely something to keep doing. But Miss Miami came with her normal punchlines. Chirac came with the angles. The question is, what happened in this? I'm gonna keep it a buck. I gotta, I can't lie to y'all. Um, this was a casket. This was a casket. I tried, I'm a fan of Miss Miami. I actually was, I actually had Miss Miami winning this. I thought Miss Miami was gonna I thought it was gonna be a casket the other way. I thought Chirac was going to get like exposed from the aggression and bars and the writing power of Miss Miami. But it looks like probably if Miss Miami didn't have that situation and have to do all these interviews and all that stuff after the, the Bonnie Godiva stuff, I think she would have been more prepared because here it is, y'all. Right from the beginning. Let's get into this. Chirac, she had a Cali angle about how the issue that Miss Miami had was in Cali. She said, all I heard was, whoa, 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 whoa. She turned into fabulous. Yo, that was fire. Y'all don't even got to, just like I said, you don't even got to have seen that battle. DNA 2 put so much clips out about that. Like, as soon as the, the drama happened, she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, that, I don't know if that's the same thing. It might not be a different, it might be a different place when they went, it was go get, we're stamp at, we're stamp at. I'm not sure if it's the same of it. But that was funny. And that's how um, Chirac started the round. This about to be a walk down Miami, ocean line. The flips and the scheming she was doing. You jeopardize your stock for a crypto. That was fire. That was fire. You jeopardize your stock. A lot of people really did that to invest in Bitcoin and all that. You jeopardize your stock for a crypto. Room shaker. Room shaker. Any of y'all ever been flown out to Miami? Well, these bullets do. Any of y'all know how it feels to be flown out to Miami? Well, these bullets do. Yo, Chirac, that was performing. That's how you take away the element of performing. When I seen that, I'm like, all right, that was that was vicious. The round would probably could have been a little longer. She was she was spazzing, but it was an eight out of ten. It was potent. So it was definitely beatable, is my point. When it came out, Miss Miami now. Miss Miami came with the aggression. It was ill choppy right from the beginning she started off with real slow like Chirac was she had she 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 delivered her stuff fast and got out the way but then it was like yo Miami you gotta kind of keep pay attention to the pace of what's going on she should have kept up with a faster pace she started off fast um it wasn't really it, like the room wasn't reacting to like first 10 five or the first like 20 percent of what she was spitting to be honest but when she started hitting lines like, um, you wouldn't curse if my hand caught things like that, one line is like that. It was I, I'm spoke, uh, um, I was squeezed on a rack. I like titties. Uh, I was squeezed on a rack all night. I like titties too. Things like that was I, I'm outspoken. That's not a shy character. Yeah, it was cool. Mixed with the choppiness, it was definitely lukewarm. I can't see how any way my, Miss Miami could have got that. So I gave Miss my that got the Chirac. Chirac got that battle, that round. The next round, Chirac actually got better. She had the whole angle about how Stamp is like a Uncle Tom. Yo, nobody was a no, everybody talk about Stamp. They keep talking about how he just no good because he just um kind of got bully energy and blah blah blah, always causing drama, and he ain't got nothing to do with it. But she approached it like, yo, he just an Uncle Tom. He was a Yo, he was supposed to snap for her benefits. She could have been food stamp. Yo, Chirac, you writing like that? You writing like that? He was, she had the angle on stamp was, uh, that was elite stuff. He was supposed to snap for her benefits. She could have been food stamp. I don't like misdemeanor, but with a Timberland and the right hook, I'll leave Miss in a black bag. Chirac went stupid that second round. I don't see how nobody could give it to her. And like I said, Miss Miami was kind of slipping and stumbling in that. Was choppy. I ain't gonna say stumbling. 
There wasn't really no major stumbles, but the choppy was too much compared to a perfect Chirac. And Chirac went stupid in that second round. If Chirac would have spit about 16 more bars with that energy, she would have had a 10 for 10 round. She just kind of compacts her bars a little bit, it feels like. But anyway, Miss Miami, she had a chance. It wasn't, she was better. She started off with more energy and it wasn't as choppy, but she had an oasis. <laughs> the word flipping and the scheme she was doing was fire. Officially, I'm the one with it. I'm at the top heavy. It's all right, it was cool. You not even semicolon, and you only got on the dot because I curved it. Talking about how she the only reason why Cyrac got with Doc because she curved it, but she took him out the uh, the AK with the coat. Yo, that was fire. That was that's what I'm talking about. Miss Miami, she got right in ability. She just gotta put it together, make sure she's practicing and not sloppy. And I ain't saying to leave stamp alone, but whatever y'all did with stamp for this event, just keep doing that. I didn't we didn't see him, we didn't hear him, and that's the best way to do it. If you ain't battling, we don't want to hear you. I'm the one to, yo, this is fire. This is what Miami kicked it up, though. She's talking about how y'all, I'm not a hater against the, the new upcoming females. I'm the one to embrace this, not overbite. That was fire. I'm the one to embrace this, not overbite. Fire. But still, that one, I can see how that round is debatable, to be honest. Um, because the angles and flips that Miami was doing to begin, and honestly, that was fire. The Oasis, the Oasis, that was fire. But I personally gave that to Chirac, but I can see if we're coming into this thing 1-1, one, one, let's act like it is 1-1 one, one going into the third. I think it's 2-1 already. I think this is a casket, for my opinion. But I can see how people think like that. My point is, it didn't matter. Chirac, third round. Did he know I act bad, man? When I get provoked, catch a lick on stamp. It's just for trying to send the envelope. Yo, did he know I act bad, man. When I get provoked, catch a lick on stamp just for trying to send the envelope, just for trying to send the message. I catch a lick on stamp. Yo, Chirac, that's how you write. That's how you write. It don't matter if it's a man or a woman in front of that. That's how you write. Fire. Um, yeah, my brother, This when she got into the real bars, this why I love her third round took it to the next level. My brother doing eight years, and he be wondering where Stamp at, too. The whole room felt that. Everybody connected with anybody. That 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 was a major one. I'm going to have to write something to my homie today. If he went to court and lost his hearing, he could have been going deaf. Talking about her, bro her brother, the real talk, and how the stuff that Stamp doing is out of character. It's some Uncle Tom shit. It ain't for our people. She's right. I'm keeping a buck. She's right. That's what I'm going to say about that. But it wasn't necessarily over. Miss Miami also, I'll say, kind of had her best round here too. I'll walk her down slow. Yo, the cows are moving. Good with the performing of that. I like that. She called her the reach guard, bitch. That, yo, Miss Miami, when she get into that personality, it, that's what I, we, we like that. The joking with the bars is deadly. The key to the gate is learn how to locksmith. I run, no, the key to the game is learn how to locksmith. Iron sharpens iron, so watch who you rock with. That was one of the illest lines of the game, of the, of the whole thing. The key to the game is learn how to locksmith. Iron sharpens iron, so watch who you rock with. Fire. Fire. But yeah, man, Dharma victim, she's a dead fuck. Miss Miami, the one-liners and all that was fire, but Chirac got that. And I said, I know I said the first, the first three battles, honestly, they were classics. I consider them classics. I'm not saying battle rap classics, like in a whole meaning, the schemes, but we, we judging this based on caskets of classics. That's what they are. And some of these are, like I said, I'm judging them just like I judged our battle. These, these ladies would have been able to rap with any, any men. But Chirac got this 3-0. Chirac, salute to Chirac. Miss Miami ain't no slouch. We all know that. But this is elite stuff right here, and it shows you you can you don't have to have all the energy and erratic um, making noise and all that. You can be the cool, calm, and collective one and still come out with the victory. Now it's time to get down to the last.